guys welcome so today i'm going to uh, show you how you can implement the sum product function which is very common to calculate weighted averages in excel and how do you implement that in tableau so let us just initially kind of go through what is the difference between an average and a weighted average and what is the sum product uh, actually all about so here we've got like a uh, mini uh, sort of a uh, table which gives you the various activities so for example homework quizzes assignments tests and final exams on which a student is graded upon so for example uh, a, for a particular subject a student needs to complete each of these homeworks quizzes assignments tests and final exams in order to receive a final uh, final grade in one subject and uh, if we take the uh, if we take the simple average of these numbers we get an average of 75.4 but this is not necessarily always true because the homeworks quizzes assignments tests and final exams may carry different weights altogether uh, in some cases, final exams may actually uh, be more important and carry a higher weightage. And a homework might carry a much lower weightage, which is like 10%. So taking a simple average does not make a good sense. And what we actually need to do is create, calculate something which is called as the weighted average, which takes into account the relative importance of each of these modules. So what that implies is that we need to actually do something which is like 91 into 10% plus 65 into 15% plus 80 into 20% plus 73 into 25% plus 68 into 30% and uh, divided by the total of weights, which is like 10% plus 15% plus 20% plus 25% plus 30 percent which in this case is actually 100 percent so this weighted average actually comes up to 73.40 and this is actually the real grade uh, that is obtained by the student which is a weighted average now let us try to see how we can implement this weighted average function uh, in tableau uh, now what we are going to utilize is something which is called as the fixed level of detail expression and a fixed level of detail expression is basically uh, is basically something that allows you to control the level of granularity of an expression uh, let us see this in more detail that we were talking about we have got the various activities for one subject say homework, quizzes, assignments, tests, and final exam on which a student is being graded. These are his grades. But what we want to do is calculate a weighted average, which is basically on an every activity level, we multiply the grade with the weight. Uh, so it's basically 91 into 10%, 65 into 15, 80 into 20%, 73 into 25, and 68 into 30%. And we can do that in Excel with actually a sum product function. So we just do sum product of these two arrays, uh, which is the grade, and uh, also with the weights. So these are our two arrays, and we actually get the total uh, of uh, of this uh, uh, total of this. But at the same time, what we also need to do is divide this by the total weights so that we get the total weighted average. Uh, uh, total weighted average so here we go so act actually it is sum of c2 to c6 and we get our weighted average in this case it's the same because the weights actually added it up to one so now let us try to implement this weighted average function in tableau I'm going to quickly connect the same Excel sheet. I'm not going to save this Excel sheet. Uh, and uh, let's not save it, but let's connect this uh, Excel sheet to Tableau. And and let's go to the sheet and we are going to create a calculated field and we'll call it like weighted average 
and this weighted average function would actually utilize a fixed level of detail expression. So fixed level of detail expression actually helps us control the level of granularity of an expression. And here we want to do the sum product function uh, on, the, on the activity level. So on every activity level, what we want to do is basically multiply the grade with the weight and then finally divide it by the sum of the total weights. And that's what we are going to do. Now, this will not work because any, uh, and Tableau throws an error that the level of detail expression, result of the level of detail expression must be an aggregate. So this actually has to be an aggregate. And the way that we can overcome this is, uh, is actually just put a sum function or a max function. Uh, here it makes more sense to put a sum function. So in the future, say suppose you want to add in more, uh, more subjects, it's going to aggregate it on your activity level and also maybe on the subject level. But at the same time, you, you can just have this sum of the grades and uh, the sum of the weights. You could also use a max function here or a min function here. The result would actually stay the same. Now, the result of this is actually just a product. What we also, uh, what we then finally have to do is multiply that sum, uh, add that sum of uh, the individual rows of the products. So we have got the individual row products and we need to finally add it together. So then we get the sum product divided by the total sum, which is truly the weighted average. And now let us try to kind of get in our grades onto the column shelf and also the weights onto our column shelf. Let's change the view to, uh, uh, and also let us just bring in our activities here and uh, And finally, let us try to bring in our weighted average. And we go to the analysis tab, we'll go to totals, and then we just want column grand totals. So here we go, we got our weighted average of 73.5. And that's how, friends, we implement weighted average in Tableau. Thank you so much.